Hello, I welcome you back again to our 33-day novena. Today we look at holiness. Very often I hear people talking about other people saying that such and such a person is a holy person. But what does that mean when we say that? What, what is holiness? Holiness is putting others before yourself. Holiness is a way of dying to yourself, not putting yourself above others, but or nor is it looking down on others. But Mary is an example for us. We can say that Mary herself is holy, and holiness, her holiness can come to us through her. Day seven, a quick, easy, and secure way to look at holiness. For the last two days, we've learned about some beautiful benefits of being consecrated to Jesus through Mary. Benefits both to ourselves and to those who are closest to us. Today, on this final day of meditation on the teaching of St. Louis, we are going to focus on the benefits of Marian consecration. Specifically, we are going to learn how Marian consecration is a quick, easy and secure way to holiness. As we read about this, we should keep in mind that the gift of these benefits doesn't entail us to just kick back and take it easy. This would be the self-love that St. Louis rebuked during yesterday's reading. Rather, when we see God's generosity in giving us such a great gift as Marian consecration, we should strive all the more ardently to live it out and grow in holiness. Let's start with the quick and easy part. The way to consecration to Jesus through Mary is a quick and easy way to holiness. And what is holiness? Dying to self. And this definitely is not easy. Still, Marian consecration is a relatively quick and easy way along the path that by its very nature isn't easy and often takes a long time. St. Louis introduces this way as follows. As there are secrets of nature by which natural operations are performed more easily, in a short time and at very little cost, so also are the secrets in order of grace by which supernatural operations such as ridding ourselves of self, filling ourselves with God, and becoming perfect are performed more easily. So how do we follow this quick and easy way? By giving ourselves to Jesus through Mary. Mary leads us to Jesus and makes the road to holiness quick and easy, even though she doesn't take away our crosses. In fact, those who are particularly beloved by Mary often have more crosses than others. But Mary takes the cross, makes the crosses sweet and light. It is quite true that the most faithful servants of the Blessed Virgin, being also her greatest favourites, receive from her the greatest graces and favours of heaven, which are crosses. But I maintain that it is also the servants of Mary who carry these crosses with more ease more merit and more glory. That which would stay the progress of another a thousand, mile, thousand times over, or perhaps would make him fall, does not once stop their steps, but rather enables them to advance, because that good mother, all full of grace and for the unction of the Holy Spirit, of the, prepares her servants, crosses with so much maternal sweetness and pure love as to make them gladly acceptable, no matter how bitter, how bitter they may be in themselves. Just as a person would not be able to eat unripe fruits without great effort, which he would hardly keep up unless they had been preserved in sugar, we, take more, we make more progress in a 
brief period of submission and dependence on Mary than the, in whole years of following our own will and relying on ourselves. By this practice faithfully observed, you will give Jesus more glory in a month than by any other practice, however difficult in many years. True devotees of Mary have such facility in carrying the yoke of Jesus Christ that they feel almost nothing of its weight. So the way of Marian consecration truly is quick and easy. Relatively speaking, as St. Louis says elsewhere, it is like the difference between a sculptor who makes a statue through long weeks of hard labour, hammering away with a chisel, and another artist who makes the same statue quickly and easily by using a mould. Mary is the mould that forms us most perfectly, quickly and easily into other images of Christ. We'll now close these reflections on the wonderful benefits of Marian consecration by letting St. Louis describe how this way is also the, a secure path, meaning that as we walk it, we're particularly protected from the defend and defended against evil. Mary puts herself around her children and accompanies them like an army in battle array. Shall man who has an army of a hundred thousand soldiers around him fear his enemies? A faithful servant of Mary, surrounded by her protection, has still less, less to fear. The good mother would rather dispatch battalions of millions of angels to assist one of her servants than that it should ever be said that a faithful servant of Mary who trusted in her had to succumb to the malice, the number and the vehemence of his enemies. And so we pray. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, help me to praise you for such quick, easy and secure path of holiness. Amen.